Hey guys, I am back and we have the March box from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. The Army Care Package right here, the five star box. Courtesy once again of the awesome Patreon supporter, Jason. Um, I just shipped off for real 15 pounds of stuff to him. Um, he's an awesome, awesome dude, great supporter of this channel. And uh, I'm gonna say it every time. So he, this is his subscription. He just arranges to have it shipped to me so I can unbox it for all of you and then I send it to him. Um, so for the unboxing, uh, I decided to get the tiniest, but high, you know, high end sort of, well, not highest end, but anyway, this is a Spyderco Dragonfly in ZDP 189. This is ridiculous price for this tiny knife, but it's worth it. This is great quality steel. So let's use this to get into this Smoky Mountain Army Care Package knife. Knife? Box? Hello. Let's see what we got. And after this, what I haven't been showing you, because I've been using it while doing projects, eating it, is the uh, my favorite beef jerky box. My primal urge. But we'll do that next. So let's see what we've got. Made in Idaho Falls. Oh, I lived in Idaho for a long time against my will, but still the Air Force said be there or go to jail. So I was there. Um, so we have this. Now, this is the highest end Smoky Mountain um, Army Care Package. So this is almost $200 a month. This is $199 a month. There's three levels of the care package. There's the, uh, I forgot what it is. There's the OC. That's like the officer's club. That's the one below this. And then there's the, I guess, the grunt box. I, I can't remember what it's called, but there's the, the lower end. Um, Jason goes big or goes home, and he gets the five-star box. And that's pretty cool. So I'm going to get everything out of the box. I'm going to open our confidential classified packing list, and then we'll go over everything. There's a lot of stuff in this box, and looking at the packing list, I'm not gonna show you the whole packing list as we go, but so we've got the GI box. I was close with the grunt box. The GI box, the officer's club, and then there's the five star, and like a lot of other subscriptions on the market, they build on each other. So if you get the officer's club, you get the officer's club stuff, and then you've got everything that comes before it. In the GI box, you get the general's box, or I call it the five star box, but it's the general's box you get everything that comes in the GI box and the officer's club and then the added stuff. Um, and that's how it works. What's cool about the, the Smoky Mountain box is everything in here comes from Smoky Mountain Knife Works and they are a very reputable retailer. Um, they've got an actual store, they've got an online catalog. So when they give you a price, they give you the MSRP on here, but they also give you what they charge specifically for it. So you know exactly um, what the value of everything in here is is. Um, now, of course, you can go online and look and see what other people charge uh, for various things, but uh, they have some very low prices there, too. So, some other stuff that's in the box, a CRKT window sticker. Um, now, this is, you know, this is not stuff that's considered items. This is extra stuff that they give you. You've got Smoky Mountain actual sticker. They always give you some of these extras in the box. A Safari Land sticker. And, um, oh, this must have come out. So I don't know if this is an item or if this is an extra. I think this is just an extra. Um, but you've got to, I haven't seen one of these. <laughs> to me, this is very old school. Uh, an actual, like, can opener. You know, like, you punch through the top of the can. Like, I don't know, I'm old. So, so a bottle opener and an actual can opener. Like, you, like, I mean, Wow. This is cool. This is old. This is like a vintage looking piece to me uh, with a Smoky Mountain name on it. I don't see it on the packing list anywhere. For those of you young, and I, I will say, like you used to have to open a can by by punching like a hole in, in two sides with this thing, and then you'd pour the can out. Yeah, that's how it worked. Like mom would go to the store and get a big old can of Hawaiian punch or some kind of juice. And wow, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Put a magnet on this, stick it on the fridge. You've always got your can opener and your bottle opener. Nifty, haven't seen one of these in forever. So that's an extra 
and that goes in here. And then, of course, all the candy. I love that they give you the candy. Some of the candy's pretty good. Uh, that's grape gum. Jason, I might steal the piece of grape gum from you. I might. Okay. So, now, with that said, we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine actual listed items on the packing slip. And I see some great things here. Uh, Randall's Adventure, uh, Essie, Condor Knife and Tool, I love. CRKT, always a great brand. Benchmade, I've had this toolkit. It's awesome. We'll look at it. Um, so, you know, really good stuff in this. And um, last time I said I wasn't going to open things like this because I couldn't reclose them for, for Jason. But he uh, has messaged me and said, open everything. Open everything. That's why he's sending me the box. We're going to open everything and look at it all. So we are going to start with the GI box with the Smoky Mountain Knife Works Pocket Sharpener, which is this little guy right here. Now it is a Smoky Mountain item. So it has an MSRP of $2.99 and they sell it for $2.99. It is both. Um, and this is, all right. So this is the same as a lot of companies sell this. Uh, it's a fixed angle sharpener. Um, it's got a, it's got a coarse side and a fine side. It's got a coarse carbide set of rods and a uh, fine ceramic set of rods. Um, you know, it is what it is. Now, I, I've said all the time, my problem with this is that if your angle doesn't match exactly this, you could do some damage to your blade. That's why I'm not a fan of these things. I'm not. But if it's all you got, it's all you got. And you know, so and you're also assuming here that I don't want to get too into the mechanics of, of knife sharpening, but you've got a 600 grit coarse rod and then your ceramic fine. What if your blade is somewhere in between those? What if your blade is already, you know, these are good to have if you don't know the ins and outs of sharpenings, but you could actually mess up your blade with them if, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing, if you use too much pressure if your blade is at a different angle, if your your bevel's at a different angle. So anyway, I usually put these in, don't like it, um, only because I like, to, I like to manually sharpen my blade. I put out videos on manually sharpening a blade, how to actually use a whetstone. Um, I know people would like to see another video on a pocket, on a pocket stone or an oil stone. Oil stones and whetstone, same thing really. Whether you use water or oil, it's just, just about lubricating the stone and doing it. Um, but to me, these are, uh, they're cheap and they're easy to use, but they're also easy to mess up your blade. So I got to put this one in don't like it just because you can mess up your blade. There are other ones by um, Landscape and everything that give you multiple angles to choose from that I like a little bit better, um, but I'll just put that right there. All right, the Shrade Old Timer Gut Hook Skinner. MSRP $24.99, the Smoky Mountain price $11.99. All right, let's get into it. First thing I did, of course, smelled this sheath. Yes, real leather, smells oiled um, in a good way, you know, like it's being taken care of. Um, I can see here, though, that it says right there the blade is 7 sear 17. Uh, that is not a great steal, but for an 11.99 knife, what are we, you know, what are we thinking? Um, fairly comfortable handle, little bit small. Plastic scales, unfortunately. They come with your California cancer and reproductive harm warning. The weight is actually not too bad. And it's, besides the handle being a little short, it's a fairly comfortable little blade there. And it's not razor sharp out of the package, but pretty sharp. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the tip there. It is a little blunted, but... You know, you've got your gut hook. Let's see. Not bad. Needs a little bit of work. Oh, yeah. Wow, that pull through is very hard. This blade needs a little bit, needs a bit of sharpening. I mean, the slice was not bad. It was clean, but needs a little sharpening. Jason, when you see this video, you let me know if you want me to... Um, just freshen that edge up a little bit for you, or or do you wanna like do you want the joy of doing it yourself when you get the knife? Um, I will do that 
for you if you want, you tell me. That edge needs a little bit of, of sharpening though when it gets to you. Very secure blade. I mean, very secure sheath, sorry. Um, things I like about this knife, I like the comfort of the handle. Um, even though it's small, I think that for a little utility knife, that's what I would be using this for. It's not bad. Unfortunately, it does come in need of sharpening, which is not the worst thing in the world, um, especially if you know how to sharpen. But the handle has width to it, which which adds to that comfort. Uh, but, you know, it's a, it's a small knife for small tasks. It's not made for, you know, survival purposes, obviously. Real leather sheath. Unfortunately, it just has the one large loop, but I'm going to put this one in meh because with a little bit of sharpening um, on the, and a little bit past stropping, it's, it's going to need a little bit more than that, but it, it probably would be a nice little utility knife to carry around and get some work done with. This one will go in meh, but Jason, I'll take care of that blade for you if you want, or I, I know some people like to do stuff all on their own. You just let me know in the comments when you see the video posted uh, how you want to go about that. All right, next. The Gerber Gutsy. The Gerber Gutsy is a compact processing tool right there. It has an MSRP of 1995. dollars Smoky Mountain sells it for $6.99. I've never seen this before. So it has four function. It scales, it, it guts, it scoops, and it opens. Oh, it opens bottles. <laughs> the bottle opener. There it is. Um, so gutting hook, scaler, and a scooper. Is that a scooper? That's part of the handle. Is that really? And it's it, it's labeled scooper. Let's get this off the cardboard. All right. So let's take a look. It's very light. It's incredibly light. Um, this feels like, now it's a scaler, of course. This also feels like if you wanted to use it as a very impractical saw, but it's all you had, it would work. Uh, I'm not going to test it because it's not mine, but um, those scaling teeth feel like they would work. Your scooper, of course, I mean, it's it's the it's the back of the handle. So yeah, scoop, you could do that with anything. Um, bottle opener, and then your little gut hook. Um, so it's a flat multi-tool. You can store it just about anywhere. Let's give the, the gut hook a gutting chance. It's hopefully we don't get the cord stuck on the, the scaler. Not bad, actually. See that? Not bad. Um, so that comes ready to go at least, and you can use that for different things. This is not the kind of thing that normally I would I would go out and buy, um, but uh, it probably does have its uses. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, maybe one of those better to have it, and not need it, than need it, and not have it. I don't see what it's made of um, in terms of steel. Oh yeah, there it is, 5CR13. It, you know what though, it's not a blade, it doesn't need to hold an edge, except for that. Um, and you could probably get a rod and fix that pretty easily. But, um, so I guess, you know, it doesn't need to be hardenable steel, except for that, um, but not bad. Um, you know, this is the kind of thing that's hard for me to put in a, a meh, or, or, you know, like it. I'm not gonna put it in don't like it because you know what, it it, it it does what it says. It it has the tools to do stuff. It's not something I would buy though. I can't really put it in like it because, I, I don't know, I'm probably gonna put it in meh. Um, just cause I, I, I don't, you know, gut feeling and, and I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure there are some people who would love this thing and you know, personal opinion, that's all. Moving on to the CRKT AUX the aux i don't believe i've seen this i think this was on my list to get and i never did um, so i can feel uh whatever they want to call it frn scales plastic scales not g10 or anything this has an wow this is this is awesome this has an msrp of 49.99 smoky mountain sells it for 16.99 nice big thumb disc over there um you can see the centering is off i mean off Let's see. Oh, it's manual. Okay. Uh, I I do like the the very simple spear point shape there going on. Um, lock up is not bad. I, I'm not in a position where I can test the lock up on this one, but 
awkward kind of feel to the lock. It's smooth. It's, it is smooth. It, you know, there's not a lot of space there to get your thumb in. So that's something I would change, but it's a smooth knife once you, once you get it going. Um, that clip, well, it's a deep carry clip and I enjoy that. There's, there's no versatility to it and it does bite into the hand just a little bit, but uh, you've got some not very aggressive jimping, but jimping over there. It feels okay in the hand. It's not, it's not bad. Um, but for EDC type work, it's, it's, just, it's a little small. The thing is, it mechanically it functions really well. Oh yes, yes, and you cannot feel the cut at all as it goes through. It is just very nicely done excellent in the pull through and i'm sure the slice is going to be like nothing yeah awesome uh, there's a couple design points that i would change a little bit uh this looks like it might be grippy it's not that grippy but it's still cool looking um, this you know being the uh the plastic scale over the metal so there's some room to do some custom scales over it. There's there's really nothing, you know, there's no spring or anything you have to worry about, so it's it's not too hard. This would be actually a great first project for somebody wanting to get into doing custom scales because it's very simple design. Um, I think that that centering issue could be easily fixed just by tightening that, that pivot. We might try that when we get to the blue box just to see. Yeah, there is, there's a little bit of blade play in there. So I'm sure that once, you know, you could just tighten that up and we'll take a look at it. I'm going to put this one in like it. It's a simple knife. It's got a nice design. Um, it's smooth. Lucas Burnley design. He's a great designer. Uh, designed some really cool stuff. And it feels good. So this one's going to go and I like it. Plus, the Smoky Mountain price. Awesome. $6.99. Uh, $16.99, sorry. And then uh, next we've got another knife with a huge disparity in the... Um, the MSRP and the Smoky Mountain price. MSRP of $48.95 and the Smoky Mountain price of $14.99. The Schrade Shiznit. Yep, yeah, yeah, the Schrade Shiznit Series Assisted Opener. What a cool name. So let's take a look at what we've got there. Now, Schrade is very hit or miss for me, but you know what? This one feels nice. So I already saw on the list. It's got an Aus 8 blade. It's got coated aluminum handles. Coated with what? I don't know. But it's got a little bit of texturing to it, which is nice. Deep carry clip. That also is not movable, but cool. Let's see. Oh, it's got a lock, a safety lock on it. Okay. Nice recurve shape to it. Um, very thin blade though. Feels a little awkwardly weighted, but nice spring tension though. That's that is like I see why they put a lock on it because the slightest little accidental pressure on that flipper and it's going to come right out. I know a lot of people who uh, are afraid to sharpen recurves or say it's a big pain. It's really not. It's really not. We'll we'll talk about it in another video later. Very slim design though. Um, all the weight is in the back of the handle. It is fairly comfortable. That clip again, you feel a little bit in your hand, but the thing is, it's, I think it looks a little awkward because normally a recurve you, you see in a bigger blade and it's a very EDC friendly size. Yeah, you need, if you're going to carry this around, you better have that safety lock on. Not as smooth as a CRKT, but it is very smooth in terms of cutting. The whole point of the recurve is it extends your cutting surface without extending the length of the blade. So you do get a lot of cutting power there. Let's see. Pretty nice. And then slice should be, yeah, slice is pretty awesome. Um, let's see. No blade play at all on this one. And your centering is almost perfect almost perfect a little bit now uh, i don't know how what the spring mechanism on this is if it's affecting that your lockup is pretty good let's see if we can there we go 
again, I'm not in a position where I can mess with locks and do the lock test, but um, it's like a hair trigger opening though. So absolutely you want to have that safety lock on. I like this one though. Whoa, see, yeah, I, that's, that's, wow. You really want to be careful with that. I do like it though. I like that they put such a nice recurve in such a compact um, package. I have no faith in the coating not wearing off though. So if you if this if you're the kind of person where you like your knife to show its story in terms of wear, this is a knife for you. I'm sure this all comes off very easily. But I'm gonna put this one in like it too, especially since they're not ripping you off safety on. They're not ripping you off on the uh, MSRP type price at all. And that does it for the GI box. That's everything you get in the GI box right there. So. Two items like it, two items meh, and one item and don't like. I was I was incorrect about that being it for the GI box. We have the Benchmade microfiber cleaning cloth, which um, looks like it's in a bonus item. It doesn't have a price on it. It's just a little Benchmade cloth. So nice, just nice to have, just a nice little Hey guys, here you go. So, um, I like it. It's not a an item that has a value attached to it because it's free. So I'll just put it right there. It looks like a little Benchmade flag. All right, so in the Officer's Club, the first thing we have is the Condor Ripper, which just sounds awesome, which has an MSRP of $119.98 and the Smoky Mountain price is $110.98. Uh, I'm a big fan of Condor Knife and Tool, Condor Tool and Knife. I have quite a few of their things from various places, and all their stuff is kind of handmade in El Salvador. Oh, wow, this one looks a lot more tactical than anything I've seen. Condor makes awesome stuff. This one, I don't know, maybe it's not all handmade. Maybe this one's all tactical made. But we've got a cool sheath. We've got the knife, and you've got... Oh, you got a little thing about carbon steel not rusting if properly maintained, which is what I'm always saying, and nobody listens to me. And you've got your little Condor catalog, which is awesome. They got a lot of stuff. So, you've got gray Kydex with, yep, real leather, stamped El Salvador, and... No. I'm wondering why this is, I don't know, curious, curious. Let's take a look at the actual knife. This guy is badass. I like this a lot. 1095 carbon steel, which is great steel for a field craft knife, for a survival knife. Handle feels amazing. Um, nice micarta there. Really nicely ground blade. Um, you can see how it's got a, a blasted finish. And then blade really nicely ground in. The edge, I should say, not the blade ground in. I'm just I'm like in awe looking at these grind lines. Um, really nice weight. Really nice feel. Wow. This is awesome. I love Condor. This just feels so comfortable. I can't even begin to tell you. Very secure in the Kydex but still easy to get out again. Just looks great. So far, this is the, the thing I'm most jealous of. Oh my God. Their blades, I have, I have yet to see a condor knife that is not like made of Valerian steel. That, that just, it, like, you can't even feel it. You can't even feel the blade move. It's amazing. This, I would carry this. I would bring this as, like, my only knife on a, on a camping trip. It just, it's gorgeous. Let's get a kind of close-up of the finish on there. It just, it's so comfortable. It feels so good. Beautiful, worth every cent as far as I'm concerned. So that definitely has to go in I like it for sure. That's basically it for the Officer's Club box. That's the one edition there and it's a nice one. 
Moving into the General's box, we've got the SE. Some people call it EC. It's the Nesmuk knife, the JG5. It's also 1095 carbon steel. Oh, look, and in here. So what do we get? We got a lot of stuff in here. We get a Randall sticker. We get the SE sticker. And we get a little survival tips card. A little tiny ruler and stuff. That's interesting. Okay. I'll go right back in the box. But we also get this card. This all goes right back in the box. And then we get, there's another card. Oh, that little survival card is also, it's another card. Is it the same card? I don't know. Let's open the bag with a knife and see what card comes in the knife. So it's the same, it's the same back, but it's a different front face for the card. Nice leather smell. Yeah, I smelled it. Beautiful leather smell. I'm already impressed by the carving on the micarta handle there. Made in the USA. A little thinner than I thought it was going to be, but comfortable. I'd like a slightly wider handle, honestly, but comfortable and great texture on this handle. Really nice finish on it as well. Light. Super light for a knife this size. I would love to take this for an adventure as well. All made in the USA, 100%. Love this. You can feel that that swell towards the tip. You can you can feel that a little bit of weight. Man, that's gorgeous. Let me just give you another overall shot. Handles really, really cool. You can see the the grains there. It really helps you get it. In addition to the to the carve there, it helps you get a really nice grip on that. You know, I am surprised that it is not. There we go. It doesn't feel as as smooth going through as the Condor, but when you get a, a good kind of run down the paper, it, it goes pretty nice. It has a good feel. I think with a little bit of stropping, it could feel just a little bit smoother. Very nice on that. This is a great knife. You know, it, it's actually a lot lighter. I mean, a lot lighter than the Condor. Um, and let's take a look at them together. You can see the handle width is, is a lot different. Um, the grind is a lot different, but they're both amazing. I would love to have both of them off in the woods, but I, I you know, I'd be hard pressed to choose which one I like more. I'm, I, I'm leaning towards the Condor. The Condor with the wider handle is just a little bit more comfortable, but this guy is just, I mean, it feels like a field craft knife, it does. This also, I mean, this. I'm not saying this doesn't, but um, I don't know. I'd be, I'd be damn hard pressed to choose one I liked better than the other. This one feels better on my hand though, and I'm kind of liking the sheath on that one better. Yeah, see this one, it starts to slip, it starts to slip out. Um, I like them both. I think the Condor one wins out a little bit though, if I had to pick a favorite. So there you go. But they're both great. They're both great knives. So let's move on. We're almost done here. We've only got one more item in the General's box, and that is the Benchmade Blue Box Toolkit with an MSRP of 20 and a Smoky Mountain price of 20. And this is, I've, I've owned this before. It is a great kit. Um, the thing it has going for it is that it is, it is small and it only includes the most common bits for knife work and repair. Now, I will tell you that at $20 though, first of all, this clip is dumb and it will break. Uh, it will, if you try to wear this on your on your belt or something. 
The thing is that for $20, you can get a full screwdriver set with all sorts of stuff, all sorts of bits and everything for repairing lots of different stuff. This thing comes out, all right? And it will go in here. And then you have these very common bits. You have two of each. Um, I think it's a six, an eight, and a 10. Now that's not all the bits you need, but they're the most common torque size bits for working on knives. Now, which one did we say we needed to try to, this guy right here. Um, let's see, that looks like maybe an eight. Yep, it is an eight. So, you put it in there and then let's, So, yeah, now unfortunately, I tighten this up. It's a little tighter, but it's still a little off center. So, I would need to take this whole thing apart and, and figure out why it's off center. Um, I'm sure there's a reason, but anyway. And now it's not as snappy either. It needs to break in, probably, but whatever. Um, so, this is cool to have. Of course, it's by Benchmade, so they give you the bits that are most common in their knives. And, you know, I bought this while I was deployed. I thought it was super cool to have it. Now, it's, it, I don't know if you can see, it's, it's got some contouring. So, you know, while working on your, the knives, you can twist. But it's just, honestly, it's, it's not as comfortable as working with a little screwdriver like this. Um, so, I, I believe it's overpriced. It, definitely, it's cool to have. Um, what I would do is I would replace, you know, since you got doubles of each bit, I, I'd replace them with some other sizes so that you have more options. Um, if this is what you want to carry, because it's definitely more compact than a whole screwdriver set, you know, it's like this big. Um, but, and you know, you, it's not bad. It's just, it's very expensive. And again, it's, it's made to be used uh, with Benchmade stuff. So, you know, you got to put whatever other things you want to have in there. Not everything in the world. T6 is the most common bit used for knives. Um, most pivots are a T9 or a T10. That's cool. And then, you know, you've got the T8. So, like, uh, this is magnetic, by the way. So, anything will fit in it. But like I said, you know, take it uh, out, take out the doubles and then outfit it with some other bits that you might use. And it's, it's pretty, it's, it's good. It's just, I'm going to put it in meh because... Because, because I said so. So that's everything in the box for this month. So wrapping up, we've got one don't like it. We've got three maz, one, two, three, four like it. And what I like, I really, really like, you look super cool. I really, really like these. I mean, these are, especially these two. These are, are moderate likes. I mean, I really, I think that they have potential to be great uh, EDC blades, but man, these are these are awesome. They, and it, this is not a bad knife. It just it needs a little little refining. Um, this has potential. I just I think this has use. I just I'm not sure exactly what I would use it for. And then this we already talked about. So what do you guys think? Um, again, this is you know I say this every time. This is a box for knife people. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's not you know, a whole bunch of different survival stuff. This is definitely a subscription for people that like their knives and want knife stuff, looking to add to a knife collection or explore new knife options. Um, so what do you guys think? What do you, what do you, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Um, I think it's a pre, I think it's a pretty cool subscription. Smoky Mountain is, is a very reputable, good retailer with some cool stuff. And I think we're seeing some of their cool stuff here. Uh, anybody have different opinions on where stuff goes? Oh, another big thank you to Jason. Jason, remember, you want, me to, you want me to do this blade or you want to do that blade? It's up to you. Um, I got to get this all packed up and now sent to Jason. Along, yes, I am still shipping out replacement giveaway prizes for anybody asking. Um, still fixing my big, stupid, huge blunder. Um, anyway. All right, guys, uh, I hope some of you found this enjoyable. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. 
So as always, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. Stand by for a beef jerky video and some uh, the new battle box and some cool stuff from Buck and Bear. And I will be back again real soon.